It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. The brilliant force positively Andrew Schultz has always been a faithful human. I used to always say, there's two people I know that are faithful for real, and that's Paul Ritchie and Andrew Schultz. Yeah. No. Are white people more faithful than black people? No. Of course. what you say? Are white men more faithful than black men? No. Definitely. We invented faithful. Before you did this whole little spiel. No. You don't. You never thought so. White men would rape black women while they were married. That's not faithful. Wait, what? What? Slave days. We're not talking about slaves right Hold on. now. They were letting <laughs> slaves get married. <laughs> no. no, they were slave weddings. They would sexually assault their slaves while their wives were in the house doing something else. Oh, that's not faithfulness. That. I'm talking about like you're saying the they would age. cheat on their wife with, with a slave. Yes. Got you. Boom. I'm not That's about- you know, yeah, but how many? What percentage of of uh, whites had slaves? All, All of them. Five percent. All of them. Two and a half to five percent. All of them. So that's ninety five to ninety seven point five percent of white males nope. I'm not in America. You, I'm not gonna let you faithful. Tell, I'm not gonna let you talk those faithful. facts. Faithful. <laughs> Every faithful. white person in America had white slaves. Men. <laughs> Don't cheat. <laughs> <cheater. laughs> All I know is I just like seeing men being faithful. I think it's a beautiful thing. I Yo, think a lot of men. But who do you are think is more up. faithful? Okay, let's let's uh, mm-hmm. let's remove white and black. Okay. Okay. Let's just go down the hierarchy. Gotcha. Least faithful. Go. Least faithful is uh broke people. What? Facts. Broke people. I'm talking about by race. You just said no race. <laughs> no, black and white. No, We're taking it out of it. No. No, we take black and white out of it and then we just use, you know, everyone else. Dominican? Oh, Latinos, definitely, definitely, definitely at least faithful. It's not even in their brain. <laughs> really? The, the faithful is not even in their brain. Why? I don't know, but that's why they never That's why they never leave their wife, like even when their wife gets really fat and shit, is because they know they're going to cheat. Oh. Yeah. I, 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 what'd you say? Like, white people get divorced. The wife cheats back. Say what? Say it, Nyla. But the wife would cheat back, though. Like cheating. Oh yeah, they'll cheating both cheat. Cheating is like regular yeah. in their culture. It's not yeah. like a it's really. Like, yeah. It's like as long as they stay married, the marriage is what's loyal. The family. They're about the family, but bro. But cheating is like you're Puerto Rican. No, Nicaraguan. That's Nicaraguan, and oh, that's you, something I don't even like saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carolina Bermudez is Nicaraguan too. Yo, I, I said broke people though only because like I feel like a lot of uh, brothers that are rich. You know, they're successful. I think it comes to a point in time where you realize you got too much to lose. You got too much to lose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that you've become a... a Specifically, a, 50%. Yeah. So I think you're a lot more faithful. You know what I mean? Broke dudes, they got to fuck a lot of girls to feel better about themselves. That's true. And a lot of times, maybe those girls are providing certain things in their lives they don't have. Absolutely. And, they, and, and whatever woman they are with, they going to shit on. Because they can't possibly oh. believe that this woman likes them just for them. Because they don't like themselves. That's exactly Ooh, now what you're getting it deep. is. That's now all you're it getting is. Deep. So That's... I just think a lot of times it'd be the broke dudes who just don't know how to be faithful. Now, who do you think is better at picking up chicks? White hmm. guys or black guys? Picking up chicks? Lifting them off the ground. <laughs> Picking up chicks. You mean physically listening to No. <laughs> Obviously, I mean getting laid. I've been out the game so long, bro. I don't know. Yo, what was your line? What was your go-to line? Why'd you say niggas in a room full of white people, Nyla? Like what do you mean? Right? There's one white person in this room. <laughs> no, it's actually three. <laughs> Aren't you Latino? No. Oh, oh, okay. That's kind of, that's not like well, I white, said three. White. I said you, Chris, and, uh, and Angelo. And Angelo's half. He's Egyptian. That's like the first that's blacks. That. <laughs> Angelo is only half when he's around his mom. Wait, your mom is Egyptian? No, no that's Joey. I know that's Angelo. Yes. Okay. He's got a black mom. I know he's black. Lord, yeah. He's not black. We consider him. <laughs> he's half and half. If milk is labeled half and half, so is Angelo. Okay? It was your Obama mom is a black, black president. president. Oh, because he's half white too? Uh, yes, because he presented as a black man. But you're saying he presents as Caucasian. He presents as just miscellaneous. 
I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> no, he's very, I don't even know. The, uh, I mean. he's, very, he's very miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. That was crazy. <laughs> his, his, his shirt should say miscellaneous rainbow. Like, I don't see no melanin. He said melanin rainbow. So this is you trying to identify as black via the shirt. My, my shit is right here at the top. I know. I see what you're doing. But that is him trying to. That's not melanin, bro. But he's trying to own his blackness. Like, you've never right. been in Times Square with the Nation of Islam dudes or whatever? Like, the, the light-skinned ones are always the most aggressive. Well, Angelo, whatever you own, you can only own 50%. Okay? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> right? That's the truth to the oh, matter. Oh, dude. So you get 20 acres and half a meal? <laughs> <laughs> do you get sunburned? That's a good question. Do you? Yeah, I do. You say that with pride. No. That's when you know somebody's trying to be black as fuck for I guess I do. I get sunburned. I, don't get sunburned. I do. I don't get sunburned. So what, what I makes someone black? Am I black? No. no. Okay. What? I'm just asking, guys. No. If he's not black, and maybe anybody could be black. I'm not saying he, he's not. He's he's 50. percent He's half. What percent is Sean King? That's a good question. Half, I guess. 50. percent He's you're 50 percent black. Yes. Yes. Who's blacker though? Is, would it be would I be black if my dad was black? Yes. How though? Because you are what your father is. But I, I I lived in it was birthed out of a black womb, a black queen. Yeah. Yo, that is true. I, I don't like how you use the word queen just now. You know what I'm saying? You use the word queen. It sounds like pandering just now. You know what I mean? I don't like the way you just threw the queen out there.